So I haven't actually ever reviewed formal wear from anywhere before, which obviously never having done formal wear before, I was interested in. <laughs> Hey team, welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hayden. We're going to dive back into the world of clothing for men, obviously, or if it's not obvious, it's for men. And more specifically, we're going to look at formal wear from Koof Andy. I have done a Koof Andy video before. The guys over at Koof Andy, they actually reached out to me and they wanted me to have a look at their formal wear. So I haven't actually ever reviewed formal wear from anywhere before. I think actually I did a wish one just for shits and giggles and newsflash, it wasn't good. So the guys at Koof Andy, they wanted me to know if I wanted to actually have a look at their Black Friday sale items, which obviously never having done formal wear before, I was interested in. Now, even though I did not pay for these items out of my own money, this is still my first impressions, my experience with the products and my honest real review. And if you do like videos like this, make sure you subscribe, you hit the notification bell and you give a little love. Now it has been some time since I made the selection when they get sent me a list of things that I could choose from. So all I have on my phone in, is the correspondence that I had with them were product numbers and then colors. We're in for a little surprise together. Now I've got all of the items over here waiting to go. They arrived yesterday. So without further ado, let's just dive on in. From memory, I didn't mind the stuff that they had. So here's hoping it's a similar story. Now the first thing I've got looks to be a jacket or a blazer of some kind. It's a dark color. You can see their branding, Koofandi. We've got the Ziploc bag, which is standard. I don't think that actually works. I think it's still just sealed. All right, we're gonna have to rip it open. Right, first impressions, mm, it's got the crunch sound. It looks nice, but it does have, well, it's kind of funky smell. It's not terrible, but, and I have a feeling that's got a lot to do with the treatment that they put on the fabric, because it's not like 100% cotton. So you can see there is a bit of that crunchy sound, but in its defense, it is a little on the shinier side. So whether or not that's whatever's on top, I'm gonna say it's polyester. 98% polyester and 2% viscose. Here it is out of its packaging. So you can see it's a fancier kind of blazer. Now they did have like a whole bunch of far out wacky colored things that I would never honestly wear. So I thought rather than having it delivered to me and then donating it, I would pick things that I would probably wear myself. I don't know to what I might wear this, but you never know. So we'll check out our construction like we always do before we go and try it on. I mean, it feels really nice. It's got a decent amount of weight to it that you would expect with a blazer. The pockets are actually real and it's not like that sewn on type thing. Um, when I actually, find out what each of these items actually are called, I will do the picture and then the conversion of how much it costs down the bottom. As you can see, the seam along the inner, it's like got that really nice silky inlay. It's very clean all the way down. This is one of the side flaps, like one of the front pieces. I don't see any threads sticking out along the collar line. I don't see anything that might be bunching. I'm, there is one thread right there and that's, See, that's what I'm talking about when there are loose threads and you pull it and they keep unstitching. That's when you know it hasn't been tied off. So I'm, not, I'm gonna stop pulling on that, but you could see that it was coming out. The sleeves do feel rather flimsy. The buttons are just sewn on. They're not, you can't actually undo, it's sewn shut. But if the previous lot of clothing that I have reviewed is anything to go by, it is extremely affordable. It's on the better quality end of the fast fashion scale. Let's hope this isn't terrible. You know, since I've put it on, it fits like a glove. It is perfectly shaped to my size, which is a medium. You can hear it though, when you move. That's when I'm raising both my arms. It's kind of catching on the sweater that I have underneath. But if you can get past that, it's actually quite flattering. We have a decent length to the blazer, one button, and it is kind of, it's velvet covered. So it's nice and soft. I like how it kind of cinches in around the waistline. And now that I've got it on, 
It actually is quite warm. It's a very decent length on the arm. It doesn't run short. It is very noisy, however. All in all, it's not terrible. Okay, we're off to a good start. Moving on. We have another blazer. But this one's got a different style logo than the previous one. This one's much thicker. It feels much heavier than the previous one, but the fabric feels softer. It is 100% viscous. Here it is out of its packaging, a standard black. And again, it, the pocket is real, it goes in. The buttons on the sleeves, however, are sewn on. You can see here. We'll have a look at our construction. I mean, I'm not surprised. It's just like the previous one. You can see how shiny and silky the inside is. You don't see anything sticking out. There's nothing that's frayed or bunched. I mean, it's really good in craftsmanship. You can see all the way down, right down to the button, or sorry, to the inside pocket. Look at the work around the stitching that's so clean and all the way down to the end of the front. Similar scenario to the previous one. There is one singular button. Let's try this on. You know, I'm actually really surprised that these are on the affordable end of the scale, but they actually don't, this one feels better quality than the previous one. I think, I wonder if it's got anything to do with the fact that the previous one, that pattern, it just made it really shiny and it made a lot of noise. Whereas this one doesn't have a whole bunch of noise and it fits just like the previous one. It fits really well. I like how flattering it looks on the body. There is a fair decent amount of movement. I mean, it is a suit jacket. They are rather constricting. I don't feel like there's anything that may potentially irritate my skin. If I was just wearing a business shirt underneath, this is quite thick. Here we have the standard black, very nice length, very nice fit, good movement and less noise two for two moving right along looks like another blazer this one has a bunch of weight to it and this one's double bagged oh it's velvet i forgot i got that one i wonder that's why they had it and it's got additional button cuff links oh now that has a smell to it what does that smell like i don't know what that is but it ain't right you know that feels like actual velvet you can see the reflection as the light hits it it's got that really soft fuzzy kind of vibe. Here it is here out of its packaging. This one looks fancy. I'm not sure about the smell. Just the feel of the fabric, it's super soft. 95% polyester and 5% spandex. So these ones got metal buttons right on the front. It's a molded metal button. So you can see it's hollow on the inside. It's just that shape of it. Let's have a look at our construction. The inside of this one doesn't feel as silky as the previous one. Oh, that's why, that's because it's got a pattern in it. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, you can. The pattern, God, that is not a good smell. <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised. The construction is rather good. For a velvet type jacket that's rather heavy, I would expect to see snags in a cheaper garment, but there are none. There are absolutely no stretching of the inner fabric. From what I can see, there are no threads. Nothing seems to be bunching or pulling. Even when it comes down to the inside pocket, it's super super clean all the way along the edge you can see where the velvet meets the inside i'm impressed not with the smell but i'm hoping that that will dissipate over time now even though the top pocket is real the bottom ones are your standard sewn shut with just a flap likewise with the sleeve buttons they are just sewn on they are decorative but as long as it looks all right we can get past that let's try it on okay i feel really fancy wearing this just around my home. The smell is rather intense. It's just wafting up because it's so close to my face. Apart from that, identical to the previous two, really great fit, really good length on my arms, on my torso. I like how it cinches you in when you do up the button. I actually really like the velvet look. I just feel super fancy. This one does have a bunch of noise. I think it's because of the pattern that's on the inside layer when it's reacting with the ridges of my sweater. Even though it stinks and I'm gonna be honest, it stinks. It looks good. And I can definitely see myself wearing this to what event, I have no idea. And if there is a fancy event out there, someone invite me and I'll wear it. It's really warm. I'm starting to heat up. I don't feel like there's anything that could potentially stick me, irritate me. Where it's rubbing on the back of my neck, it actually feels really pleasant because of the softness of this material, the polyester. I may have to get this dry cleaned just to get rid of that stench. Which of the three blazers are your favorite? Three down. I'm assuming this is going to be a vest. Same packaging. This one, I like the look of the double-breasted part on the front, but 
holding it up and having a look. No, I was about to say one of the buttons is missing. It must have broken off, but I think it's just not put through the buttonhole. Here is the vest out of the packaging. Now the inside of this feels super silky and soft. See what I mean? The double breasted. I really like that. It's kind of ye oldy. Blessedly, there is no smell whatsoever to this one. That it's not, there's no crunch to that. That sound you can hear is the friction of my hand against the inside. Wonder if this is also polyester. No, 70% terraline and 30% rayon. As usual, the construction looks super clean. It's rather thick thin as in it's the two layers there's not a lot to them that being said you cannot see one single stitch it's been well hidden look around the buttonholes that's typically where you see stuff and you can actually see that thread right here pulling on it it doesn't come out which means it needs to be snipped off but you can see all of the knots there i like on the inside on the underside flap, there is a button to keep the inside part closed. So it doesn't like fall out and does that weird thing where there's a gap. Let's try it on. I really like this one. I really like the style of the double breasted at the front. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of like Ye Olde. He's got like a steampunk kind of a vibe happening. I think it's rather smart. I like the fit. I like the cut. It's quite accurate to what is online when you do your sizing chart. Now just imagine I've got like a business shirt on underneath. I think it's rather flattering. It feels really comfortable. I like that there's still a bit of room. There's a lot of movement. Nothing feels like it's going to catch. I like that the back of it is low enough that it's not cutting into the back of my neck. And it does feel like it wouldn't be irritating to the skin if it were just on my skin due to the soft, silky inside. You're gonna have to let me know which of the four pieces were your favorite. I am surprised. Now there are hits and misses out there and the first blazer I potentially wouldn't wear myself. The other three items, however, if I can get the smell out of the velvet one, I definitely see myself wearing. I will link everything down below. If you want to check it out for yourself, you go right ahead and let me know. Did you get any successes or miserable failures? Thanks for watching team. Make sure we do the fun stuff, but most importantly, stay tuned.